Welcome to the Folly Room. Welcome back to Hello, the everybody. Folly Room. Meeting some peanut butter and Ritz crackers. Nice. A little ASMR. For I was going to say, I'm sorry if you don't like the sound of eating. I'll try to keep it to a minimum. I just need, I need something, something in my blood sugar. Yes. This, this level is so. Is it good? Yeah, it's challenging. Mm. Um, it's mm -hmm. not a secret mm -hmm. level. I do remember this. But um, I used to do it the wrong way, evidently. There's a, 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 a way you're supposed to do it, and then there are ways that speedrunners do it, and then there's the way that I used to do it. <laughs> um, the Kevin method, as yeah. they say. But now the I'm Kevin, just gonna the Kevin. do whatever, do whatever I can figure. There you go. Whatever works, honestly. Man. Honestly, I think I... Do you do it over the top? I used to, uh, like... I think I used to go along the side. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. Where that little stream is. And then I would uh, go underneath very briefly. Okay. <clears throat> I do remember. I like your method. But I think I might try something a little different. Well, time. F me, I guess. <laughs> I'm kidding. I think I would always go down here. Thanks. You're back. If you watched last episode, uh, Miss Pepper Girl was. Um, oh, there she goes, going to her little corner. What is with her in that weird ass corner? She's such a freak. But she came and visited last episode, and now she's back. Oh. To enjoy the Super Mario yep. Sunshine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Poor I just spit a chunk of rich cracker out of that. Oh man! What are you doing? I was playing uh, in the Friends parody murder mystery in Philadelphia that uh, without a cue, the company I work for has been doing. And there's a scene where um, the character Russ. So whoever plays Ross that night also plays Russ and also plays Gunther. Yeah, I forget um, who Russ is, but Gunther is the the barista. Which yeah. Is the, yeah. Um, and the whole premise is that Gunther has been franchising the Central Perks in different states. And so they're there for the Philadelphia Open to celebrate. Um, and Russ was the Ross lookalike, essentially, that Rachel started dating at one point in the series. Like okay. For two episodes, maybe. Um, and at, at, in order to establish a motive... Uh, because, you know, everyone everyone has some sort of motive um, for wanting someone else dead, and that's part of the mystery. Um, Russ just walks up to Joey and eats fries out of Joey's hand. Uh. Yeah, like, not, not a normal human thing to do. Um, and he just goes like, hey, sweet, fry. Like, literally eats Joey's fries. What? How did we end up talking about this? Um, I no longer remember. <laughs> it's just, it was just heavy on your heart. I guess so. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, are you? No. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was. I mean, you yeah. know. Meet my cracker. <laughs> oh, because I spit a piece of fry out last time. Oh, I see. That's that's where we got it from. All right, I'm gonna try that again. But this time I have a different plan. Right. <laughs> have you watched the speed run of this? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. But maybe I, I will too. And they're good. The speedruns are fun. I've been um, big on watching things on YouTube at two times speed. <laughs> the only problem with that is I can't watch normal. Like, it, it's so slow otherwise. It, ru it ruins it for I you? I did. I you've, broke my brain. You've conditioned yourself. I finish. always knew it would come to this. But, like, I like to watch my little finish lady clean and, like, it's uber fast. <laughs> Hello, I'm Marie Catarina. First, you take out of those trashes. <laughs> Take two, baby girl. Place is so pretty at night. 
Yeah, it is. I do like how this this map gets a day-night cycle. Mm -hmm. Man, tails. Yeah, that is so there. unnecessary. Look at that little bug that is sitting on a mushroom. Okay, well. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you were enjoying your time. How about some brain damage? <laughs> And that's what I use to explain why uh, why Russ just eats out of Joey's hand. <laughs> it's like sometime between his move from uh, New York to Philly, Russ has had a traumatic injury. We love the lore. Yeah. It's the best I could do. Mm -hmm. I'll finish my I idea here. If I can do this well. I was gonna try and climb the tree. Um, I feel like at this point this series is a very special edition of Super <laughs> Mario Sunshine. Would you like to do everything kind of the wrong way? Well, I'll see you guys on the reload screen. <laughs> Remember when I said I had a plan and it wasn't the same? <laughs> yeah, really. I lied. Really could have fooled me, huh? We're just back here. Our cats are kissy noise cats, by the way. Yeah. I always like to ask whenever I meet a new cat. I'm like, what's what's your cat's noise? Yeah. Because there's usually there's generally two. There's the kissy noise, or there's the like. Or the. Pss, 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 pss. Oh, there's. Pss, pss, pss. I'm sorry. I just lied to you, like right to your face. It's all right. The circle of deceit. Yes. Completed. The Ritz crackers brings it out of me. Yes. I'm actually trying to avoid using the underside of this map because I'm actually legitimately afraid of it. <laughs> it's just Can't existentially horrifying to me. Yeah, it really is sort of... To be living over an abyss. Not a good vibe. Yeah. I don't feel no, like I would do well on transatlantic cruises. Uh... <laughs> oh, I see. The, uh, I got it. Take me a second to make that connection as well. We've never been on cruise. Yeah, no. Nor do I, I, I don't know. I don't know if I'd get seasick. That's a problem. I haven't been on like enough boats, I think, to know whether that's a thing. That's fair. Like, in all the boats that I've been on, it's been like relatively calm water, like more shallow. I haven't, I haven't been on the sea, really. And that's a big gamble to spend that much money and be like, oh, I'm miserable. I hope he Look at that care. thing! Isn't it horrid? It's like a spider and a bee. That's my worst nightmare. Yes. Yeah, this is this is where I would end up. Yes, normally. this is the part I what I remember actually. Well, that's quite a pickle, huh? Yeah, going along as planned. It's not a good plan. But hey, she's still in the corner. Whoa! I attained. Nobody breathe. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Inch our way forward. Uh, Inch our way back. The people of uh, the village just watching Mario like slack jawed and off. <laughs> <laughs> watching a man burn to death in real time, <laughs> yeah. only to come back and do it again. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, great. Now that beep is gonna be everyone's favorite noise. Yes. <laughs> Correct. Oh, I can. I just realized I can see myself in the reflection of the microphone. Like the little rim. That's a good story. I should tell it at parties. Alright. Back to the abyss. Got oh, oh no. Pretty safe spot, I think. Oh. Oh. And are you? <laughs> I'm trendy. <sighs> Getting warmer. <laughs> I did not have sexual relations with that one. <laughs> I, uh. That was doing a good uh, Tricky Dick impression this morning. What's that? Um, Richard Nixon. Oh, you ever heard Tricky Dick? Okay. I probably have. Yeah. Uh, didn't put it together. Oh, he's like, ah, 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 for us. 
Oh, oh excellent. The sweet sounds of... It's a chemical solution. It's called alcohol. Damn. Sorry, I... <laughs> uh... First day of college. We he. Am I right, everybody? Whew. At last I shall have my revenge. Hip hip. Oh. Oh. But there are some birds that keep shitting out the, the flaming goop, <laughs> which we can relate to very, yes. very well. I got IBS, the IB shitting disease. <laughs> IB Daily. IB Daily. Big it's my favorite author. Yes. Man, when John Mulaney did that stand-up and was like, I told my doctor I pee 11 times a day. 11, and that was... And his doctor was like, you pee 11 times a day? I <laughs> that... went, what's wrong with that? Yeah, guy? right? I was like, sometimes I just go for fun. Yeah, this is... Now this is just cleanup simulator. Yeah, I know. Woohoo! I love how he's having fun with it. Right? I mean, you gotta. He's got a great attitude. I mean, he's, you know, he arrived, he got framed for, you know, war crimes or whatever. <laughs> crimes against humanity. <laughs> yeah, thrown in prison like and then tasked with, you know, dealing with all this. And he's just like, well, I could have fun with this. Yeah, man. Let loose with literally no parole check ins. Mm hmm. I mean, I feel like the people here are real chatty real, real gossipy so i feel like word would would get around if you were up to no good it was really funny uh, there was this one comedian that i was uh watching i just stumbled onto him on youtube mm -hmm. and apparently he would do stand up in both greek and like american english and apparently when he would do greek caricatures mm -hmm. he would have an immaculate greek accent in um uh, in English, and when he would do American caricatures in Greek, he apparently had an immaculate American accent in Greek. Really? Yeah. That's kind of cool. And um, he was talking about like how different it is to rent an island uh, or rent a, a car on certain islands in in the Greek uh, archipelago. Because mm -hmm. he's like, you don't like have to give them a copy of your license. You don't have to fill out all the insurance information. He's like, well, what you know. What if I take the car and don't come back? And the guy's like, it's an island. How far are you going to go? <laughs> like, where are you? I yeah. find you. You don't bring it back. I find you with my guys. We yeah. break all your fingers. It's very simple. Right. Uh, Monica and I just had a really nice uh, Greek food date mm. um, on South Street in, in Philadelphia. I think it was uh, South Street Suvalaki or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like they play Christmas music really loudly. <laughs> on the street, but inside, it's just beautiful. No, I like the that. The yeah. is great. Nice. Uh, and their food, their service was like blitzing fast. Um, yeah, it's just... it just reminds me. It's like, like finally, it's time to like play Christmas music without people constantly complaining. Yeah. I'm like, dude, like, don't you just like black out when you hear outside sounds, like? People are like, you can't play Christmas music, it's not, it's not Thanksgiving yet. I'm like, the world is going to end. You with your little categories, that's very sweet. <laughs> yes. I guess one thing, like, when that's all you hear on the radio in yeah, November. Yeah, of course. Like, that's annoying, but just the fact that it comes on. Absolutely. Like, I like it's to like you, to I it. find you so much more annoying complaining about it than the actual song. Yeah. And if some people have problems with Christmas music, like, I knew some music majors back in college who didn't like Christmas music because they found it, um, like, on a compositional level, uninteresting. Yeah. And I was like, that's a valid that's reason, absolutely. It's in just fact, the people who are doing it, because it's sort of the same way where it's like... You can also not like it because you don't like it. I think that's perfectly fine, but... Yeah. I feel like there's some things that people just start doing. Mm. It's, like a, it's like a cultural thing. Yeah. A very white person thing to yes, do, to is. be honest. Is I don't have anything to contribute to discourse. Yeah. So let me yeah, let me complain about something irrelevant. Yes. Like how dark it gets. Oh, that was so early. Time. Exactly. How tired I am. That one I'll give a pass. Me too. Especially now that I'm an adult. I'm like, yep. It's like, oh, they weren't making it out just to be. Mm. 
when Dad was like, I used to have such a sweet tooth, and now I really get sick. And I was like, bullshit. Just oh coward. my god. And now I'm like, oh yeah, no, if I, if I eat too much, I start sweating. Dude. If I eat too much sugar, my nips get hard, I start sweating. <laughs> <laughs> That's not even a joke. <laughs> Why? I think... Okay. <laughs> Let's unpack that for a second. Finally. <laughs> I'm getting help. I don't think the nips have anything to do with it. Controversial statement. No, there's definitely a... It's at least a correlation. You know what? I believe you. I bet that's something you've never heard before. Yes. What What on earth is this shadow? Where is this shadow coming? Oh, it's coming from the bug underneath the map. Bugs shouldn't have shadows. But yes, if a bug has a shadow, it's not it's, a bug. It's too big. That is a creature. What was I going to say before? Oh. I, with the stomach issues, I can no longer, like, if my friends are like, let's, let, we'll, like, hit up a food truck and walk around, I'm like, absolutely not. We I was like, food truck food? Like, I need to have access to a restroom immediately. Doesn't mean I'll need it. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god, you're back, stinky girl. That's why, like, I, I hate performing before, uh... Or hate eating before performances yes. because I have it's it, an uh, absolute crapshoot. Yes, yes, what? literally. <laughs> yeah. Well, it could be. Well, you know what? I don't know if I've met. I don't know if I have mentioned this before, but I, I genuinely think like this crap that they put in food, mm -hmm. like especially in America. Well, in the U.S. I'm sorry. Um, is just disintegrating everyone's stomachs. I feel like a, a lot of people I talk to have, like, some bad stomach issues. Mm -hmm. And, like, even... Because I lived in <clears throat> London for a little bit, and, uh, like, the food didn't keep as long. Because yeah. they didn't put as much, shit, like, garbage in it. Mm -hmm. um, so I think whatever we're using to preserve food the way that we are is really messing up people's stomachs. Yeah. But I'm not a scientist, that's just my, you know, my knucklehead perspective. Mm -hmm. Part of it is is the way urbanization tends to go in America. Mm -hmm. um, I've been doing a lot of research for uh, this one job that deals with the uh, Urban Health Collective yeah. at Drexel. Uh -huh. And um, a big part of urbanization is, like, where you're sourcing your food. Mm -hmm. Because, for example, hunter-gatherer peoples have better healthier diets yeah. than than settled populations because settled oh, populations God, have it. regular access to food which is a huge bonus yeah. especially for population growth mm. but because it's you know it's got staples that means they're not getting variety in their diet right. like humans did for the first 300,000 years yeah. humans existed no doubt uh, so now especially in the United States where we have a huge land mass to cover our, our agricultural sectors are really spread out, so we have to put preservatives in things in order to keep cities with uh, varied yeah, right, diets right. so people don't get sick from the same foods. Um, and also to, for there's the economic factor of yeah. you know, food variety. Also. But, um, you know, unless cities are able to start getting themselves off of, you know, breadbasket level foods, yep. you know, from over in what, you know, what? Kansas. Did the, am I crazy, or did the screen just shake for a second? The screen did shake because this tree was covered in goop. Oh, 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 no it just, oh, okay. Wow, because I'm also, like, bouncing my knee, and I'm like, <laughs> did I just go in, like, turbo mode for a second? I, am I, did my blood sugar crash Yeah, I was that... eating those peanut butter <laughs> crackers? By the way, yesterday at the wedding, there was, like, an older lady that was, like, staring. It, it was, like, a, a really, really old building that we were in. Mm -hmm. And this older lady with a pale face was looking yes. through the window, and I was like, you see her too, right? Yes, she was not in black tie either yes. for the uh, invitation. Yeah. But that's none of our business. Right. <laughs> but yes, I, I get what you're saying, absolutely. It's just weird. Just weird. Yeah, so... Um, we really colonized and then beefed it all up. Giggity. Um, yeah. yeah. But, so, there was something I was going to say in between that, and I just don't remember now, so it must have been a lie. 
Well, that's what that's one of the ways that rural populations are able to stay as healthy as they do is they have um, access to yeah. foods that have just less stuff in them. Right. Yeah. One hundred percent. And you know they also stay poorer generally because they're not as integrated into the supply chain as the rest of you know yep. whatever their district is yeah. or more urbanized areas of where they live. Um, yeah, it's really really interesting. But also. Um, since they're, they're usually putting more resources into keeping a healthier, hardier crop, mm -hmm. or to compete with the lower foods of bigger agricultural, um, you know, companies in the area, uh, they end up just with healthier food, but with a, a, a smaller distribution net. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, some of our neighbors up the mountains experience this, mm -hmm. like Levi with his beef uh, farm. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Levi with his beef farm. Yeah. That is the most, like, Pennsylvania Appalachian thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, man. I mean, but dude has, like, strains of uh, of Wagyu cows out yeah. there and stuff like that, and he fe feeds them, like, grains and, and veg and yeah. oats. Absolutely. You know, rather than just, you know, whatever chicken feed. Uh, you know, Sam's Club's providers. Yeah, them, right, right. But also for the average consumer, no one has the, the storage space. You need like a, you know, like at least five, five, I, I, what is it? Five cubic liter um, fridge to hold, you know, enough beef for you to purchase it uh, and store it sustainably. It's, it's complicated. Wow. It is. It, it is. And it's like, yeah. that's something that they don't teach you. No, <laughs> at but all. our generation, I think, are prioritizing learning about it as well. Right. Um, because I think a lot of people are also, you know, getting sick. Yeah. Um, right. And right. staying sick. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people um, aren't just muscling through and living, you know, with their early onset rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah. They're like, I better go gluten free. So right, I don't, right. You know. I don't get eczema from celiacs anymore, <laughs> you know? Yeah, absolutely. And because we have the access to the information, and also, yeah. you know, people in our parents' generation just got sick and died earlier. Yeah. Um, well, I, it's it's weird, because I think that has a lot to do, actually, with religion as well. Oh, yeah. Because I think, in my opinion, like, the old generations were more religious, and so death wasn't the finality. Yeah. That, um, not to say that <laughs> they were itching to die, but right. I... But you know what I mean. Like, I think they were less existentially terrified. Yeah. Did you have to clean all that up? No. <sighs> so you're wasting what? everyone's time. No, kidding. <laughs> yes, yes, because I have to run through the game. No, we're, I'm kidding. I know. I was just enjoying myself. Yeah, no, it's it was very a good cathartic to chat. clean things up. Right. Gelato. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, that sounds fantastic to me. Fantasy tastic. Okay. Have myself another cracker. Do 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 do. Oh heck yeah. Mm. Do we try this one? And I had to tap out. Um, you know, I don't, I don't remember. That was like a year so. ago. <laughs> Three months? Sure. We last recorded in August. Hmm. Oh, I thought I, here I thought I was going to get trampled. It is an excellent episode, play. though. So speaking of trampled. I think you underestimate the amount of time you need to water the plant, probably. Perfect. Beautiful. Stunning. And then he makes the choo-choo train noise, which is sensory good. <laughs> I do love that, um, like, a motif of villain, like, defeating, like, creatures is to just absolutely thwack their tummy. You've tried petting a cat. You understand. Oh, yes. Well, Pepper's weird. She is, uh... Pepper, like, requires belly rubs medicinally. 
Like, that's one of her own, like, her, that's probably her favorite place to be pet, mm -hmm. is her belly. He hits that. Oh, nope, he just ignored it, and then... You were testing us. I am a fool. I'm a fool! Alright, maybe I can do this with the gear. Three cheers for the fool! Hip hip! Hooray! <laughs> hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! <laughs> It makes you feel good when yeah, you Yeah, it does. It. It's so much fun. It's just a feel-good thing. Yeah, I'm trying oh. to not send him to the ocean floor again, because apparently that doesn't bother him, and I can't ground pound his belly. Interesting. But he will, he will, like, stumble into the ocean if he... Yeah, I'm trying to remember what happened ocean. last time, because I think you're right. I think that we did. That is awful. That is just terrifying. Goodbye. He is just... Uh, yeah, they're pretty chill about that. I'd be freaking out, to be honest. <laughs> Controversial opinion. I'd be upset <laughs> if this were happening in my town. Chase him around instead. I love red scrappers. So buttery. Mm. This one, see what, what happens. Mm -hmm. It'll probably explode. It'll probably end up in the ocean. Oh my god. <laughs> Remember when there was a guy there? Oh my lord. I yeah, see. He just kind of railroads into the ocean. Mm. Oh, I think I can still get him. Yeah. Thankfully, his grundle was out of the water. Yeah. Excellently done. Grundle stopped. Immaculate. Pristine. All one day's work. ASMR of my cracker wrapper. Yes, so I've got some Perrier here. We wanna cracker wrapper, also known as Eminem. Yes. <laughs> 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 Thank you. It took a moment, mm. but I, at least I got it on the way home. Please clap. <sighs> I remember when um, this will date uh, date our recording mm -hmm. in s September when Putin mm -hmm. annexed uh, uh, those four half captured uh, Ukrainian oblasts. Mm -hmm. um, What's it, what is that? An ob oblast? An oblast is basically like a province. Okay. Um, it's like the biggest administrative division. Mm -hmm. Um, but we don't really have a clean translation for it, so we just borrow the word oblast. Okay. Um, but it's like province <clears throat> or state, honestly. Cool. Anyway, he um, he annexed a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to give Rico Harper another try. All right. And memes good. came out of like Jeb Bush annexing them too <laughs> and replacing their names with like Instead of Kherson, it was Jebson. <laughs> Instead of like oh Zaporizhia, it was Jebarizhia. You know. I feel bad for that guy. Not really, but. Putin or Jeb Bush? Because. Uh, Just well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I do for well, neither. I, I, what I was referencing, by the way, is um, in like when Jeb Bush was running for president in like 2016, he he was like at a rally. And he, like, said something that I, I guess he thought was, like, you know, supposed to be, like, uh... Admirable. Yeah. And nobody said anything. And he went, please, please clap. clap. And now whenever I say something that people don't find particularly funny, <laughs> I hit him with the please clap. <sighs> Jeff, we trust. I did mention that on our TikTok, by the way. We have a TikTok. Just Folly Room. At Folly Room. Um, along with some other... of the idioms that I like to use. So, if you're interested, go check it out. It's a good hook for you. Nice. I follow the follow room. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so what are you doing? Kevin follows it. I don't even really use it. I, I got into I actually held out for quite a while. Um, because I guess I still had that perception of it being like musically. Um, oh, yeah. And then COVID happened, and I was like, ah, I got nothing better to do. I'm like, this is sort of like what's the hip happening thing right now. Oh, come on. Come on, buddy boy. 
But um, but uh, I remember I had one, and I was like talking to a friend of mine, and they were like, I deleted TikTok, and I remember being like, <gasps> and I went, I was like, that's an unacceptable <laughs> reaction, and I went home and I deleted it. I was like, I don't like that. I was so aghast that um. So and I, I got it again for a four folly room and I've been I've had like a much healthier relationship about it. Yeah. Um but yeah, I'll post every once in a while. Usually BTS stuff. Yes. Every time I hear BTS, I think Ooh Sorry, go ahead. That was a silly face you made. <laughs> every time I hear BTS, isn't there like isn't that like a like a K pop band? Oh I have no idea. I'm uh, I'm allergic to K-pop. Yeah. Is yeah. That why your face got so red? Yes. <laughs> um, and every time I hear BTS, I think of that. That or I think of bits. But it's not. Yeah. It's anytime I think of BTS, I think of Bitcoin. I'm like very a... sorry for you. Yeah, me too. Kevlar. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> <laughs> it all started when I was born. Boo to boo to boo to do boo to do. It's just very. I don't know. There's a lot of momentum in this little pudgy man. I know. <laughs> I know. He's a bottom heavy. <laughs> Aren't we all? I paid good money for that in mm -hmm. New York. <laughs> there you go. You can stop for a little yummy delight. We were chitty chatting about Turkish delights yesterday. Yes, I got very animated about it. I don't They're think I've ever good. had one. Turkish delights, if you remember, if you've ever seen Narnia, that's the like treat that like Edmund or Edwin. Or what? A, yeah, he yeah, betrays he, his he, entire like, life. He like sold his whole for. family out for a couple Turkish delights, and so naturally I'm like, that looks that. Mu I mean, they must be incredible, but I don't think I've ever had one. I I've gotten mixed reviews. I like him. You do? Yeah. I feel like you would, though, right? Like. Right, because, you know, I still... Not just because, like, you looked like Edwin when you were younger. <laughs> or Edmund, whatever his name was. Yeah. Uh-oh. <gasps> Dang. Uh. That was close, though. Respect. All right. Why Mario... don't we start, start fresh? All right. Because we're at the 32-minute mark. Okay. But, uh, That's we'll a good get idea. This for sure. Well, thank you so much for joining us on and... this lovely little, little chill sesh. Of the We're really winging that. Eh?